Okay, now that you have exported all of your audio files into iTunes and you edited them all, we are ready to pull our video file from the internet. So to do that, you can go back into the Google Classroom and there is an announcement here that says downloading video clips from YouTube. Click on the link for Off Liberty. You can use this website um, to pull video files and audio files off of YouTube. Um, and no, it is not copyright infringement because we are using it for educational purposes. So it's totally fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Off Liberty and then go to the video clip or the YouTube clip that you were originally planning on using. If you don't remember which one specifically it was, you can open the Google, the, uh, Google Doc that we used in the very, very beginning to make the list for what sound effects we needed to use. Um, and you should have pasted that URL right in that Google Doc. So you can just copy that URL and paste it into this rectangular bar here. Um, in the Off Liberty web page, and then click Off, and it's going to do its little thinking. It's going to be Bob. Now this may take a minute or two. So while this is going on, we're going to set up our iMovie file. So what you're going to want to do is launch iMovie by clicking the uh, purple star, which you should have in your doc. Um, we are going to do File, New Event. We're going to call this event Foley. Hit the enter key. Once you've done that, choose New, Movie, No Theme, Create. We're going to name it with your last name, Foley. Make sure the event it goes in is the one that's called Foley and click OK. Then you've got this happening here. Uh, then what you're going to want to do is double check and see if your video file is done yet, which Off Liberty has completed it. Now you're going to right click here and save link as. So to right click, you hold control, click on that bar, open link in new window, and it should automatically begin to download as an MP4 file. If it's an MP3 file, it just downloaded as audio file and you have to do it again. Um, so once you do that, click that little arrow to the right of your file in the window, show in Finder, it should show up right here. And what you're going to want to do is move that window over, move iMovie over so you can see both. And you can import it by clicking on this button or you can just drag your video file right into that event and it's going to upload for us. All right, once you have your video file in iMovie, you can take that entire video clip and just drag it down to your timeline. Now, if I play this video clip, I'm still going to hear audio. Right, but we've made our own audio. So what we need to do now is detach the audio from this video clip. So you're going to right click the video file in your timeline by holding the control key on your keyboard, click on the video file in your timeline and choose detach audio. A green bar is going to show up along the bottom and once you do that you are going to hit delete and get rid of that audio. Now if I play my video clip there is no audio. Now you also want to trim out anything like this, okay? So I'm going to take my mouse, my playhead all the way to the end of that spot and do command letter B as in boy and that's going to trim and then I can get rid of all that extra stuff. Um, so now that you have no audio and just a video clip here um, in your event, we want to open up the iTunes library in the left hand column. So you're going to look to the bottom left corner of your iMovie uh, window and iTunes is going to open and since this is the only thing really in iTunes, all of your sound effects should automatically pop up here. Um, and now what you're going to do is start to pull down your sound effects and 
let's see. You're going to start to um, sync your audio file up with the video file. So I'm going to try and sync up some of my swords sounds. Now if you can't remember where things need to go, that's why we keep our YouTube video up. So you can go back here and watch. So it starts with wind. Right? So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to get my wind. Wind one and you can play it here. Take that and just pull that audio file down here. And now if you play, that's almost the perfect amount of time. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit on my timeline. Come over here and I'm going to pull that audio in a little bit to trim it. Because it kind of stops right as goes off of those two. Okay, so that's what you're going to end up doing. So now you're going to go through all of your audio files and continue to pull down audio files and sync them up with your video clip. Once you've done that, listen to it several times, match it up as perfectly and precisely as you possibly can. Then we're going to export it as a finished product. And to export it, you're going to choose share, file. We're gonna keep it named your last name fully. Make sure add to theater is not checked. And then choose next. We're going to put it on our desktop, hit save, and then you're going to see this little circle over here. Once that circle, that whole pizza pie is finished and it's solid white, it is um, totally finished exporting and then you can close iMovie. And what I would like you to do is upload that file to the Google Classroom um, so I can grade it. So I will show you how to do that in the next tutorial.